Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology and today was WWDC 2018 and a lot of cool things on the software side of Apple were announced including new iOS 12 which I have in my iPad mini second generation and there's also a bunch of updates to tvOS on the Apple TV, watchOS on the Apple Watch, as well as Mac OS X on the Mac computers, but today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 12 on the uh, iPad Mini 2 with Retina Display. This was released in fall of 2013 and it is now still running iOS 12. So let's go ahead and look at some of the new features of iOS 12 and see how it's running on my iPad Mini 2. So the first thing that I noticed immediately after installing iOS 12 was that the animations were super smooth. If I open up the settings app here, you can see that the animations are really really smooth but you can really see that Apple took time and effort as they announced in WWDC that the animations on older devices such as this iPad mini 2 which was released in 2013 will have a better refined software experience furthermore the second thing that I noticed after installing it was the new gestures so yes we are going to be getting an iPad with a notch in September and this is why the iPad now has all the gestures that the iPhone X has. So in order to get to the control center, you go at the top right corner and swipe down. In addition to the control center being at the top right corner, you can also just swipe up to close apps, just like on the iPhone X. As you can see there, you can swipe to close them. You can also do the multitasking. So let's say you have two apps open, you can go up in here and you can use the multitasking to close apps that you have. Another new thing in iOS 12 on the iPad is the setup of the status bar at the top. So as you can see, there's nothing in the middle anymore. There's only stuff at the two sides. So we have our Wi-Fi and battery symbol on that side as well as our time and date on the other side. And you can also see that if I swipe down from this side, my notifications come up and I can check all of them. And while we're in the notification center, you can see that I have the grouped notifications right here. So as you can see, I'm getting a lot of news notifications. And if I hold down on this, I can interact with the first one there, or I can also swipe here. I can view all of them, I can manage them, or I can clear all of them. In this case, I'm just gonna clear all of them. And there you go. There's no having to go through and swipe each of them anymore. I know that is something that has angered a lot of people and luckily it's fixed with iOS 12. Another new thing in iOS 12 is the shortcuts. So these are an essential part of Siri now. Shortcuts in Siri allow you to schedule different things. So let's say um, you just are getting out of work and you wanna say, I'm traveling home from work. You can have Siri do a bunch of different things on your iPad for you. So as you can see, you have to go into the settings now under Siri and search, but eventually I think Apple will have an app. You can go in here and you can set whatever shortcuts you want. Like you can search clock. And as you can see, it's actually very limited right now, but I'm assuming the functionality will get better and better, but I know a lot of people are gonna like this. I personally think it's awesome. I love having my phone do things for me, and this is just another way of my phone, tablet, iPad, Mac being able to do that for me. Now, unfortunately, since I do not have the iPhone 10, I cannot test some of the features in iOS 12, but a huge one is Animoji. Now there are a few new Animojis, such as a T-Rex, a koala, a ghost, and even a tiger. Um, also, there's something called Memoji. Basically, Memoji allows you to create your own emoji that looks just like you. This is something that Samsung introduced with the Galaxy S9, but I looked at the implementation from other people using it so far um, on iPhone 10, and the implementation seems to be a lot better on the iPhone than Samsung. Another new feature of iOS 12 is the new camera effect. So pretty much in the camera, you can add all these cool effects, kind of like Snapchat, there's stickers, you can add your me emoji, um, and a whole bunch of other creative cool filters that are on there. So this is very cool, and it's something a lot of people are going to like since it was super popular on Snapchat. In addition, augmented reality is another huge part of iOS 12. It has advanced so much. One of the key features that they announced 
was the measuring app on iPhone. And unfortunately, I could not get it on my iPad mini too, but it might be on some of the newer versions. That's what I'm assuming. But this is really, really cool. You can measure things. And there's also this cool Lego app that they're uh, creating in partnership with Lego, which allows you to play with Legos, even with friends in a multiplayer mode. So that is just absolutely insane. I'm definitely gonna show you guys more of this in a later video. Apple also tweaked the do not disturb setting. So pretty much you can set times for, or set an amount of time for when you wanna be on do not disturb. But the biggest thing was screen time. This is a new app that Apple implemented and it really came from the source that phones and iPads and all that are too distracting. Sometimes they're just not being used properly in the right place or they're being used too much. So Apple has created this app to hopefully make people more aware of how much they're actually using their phone. And I know this is something that I've kind of wanted because I'm on my phone 24 seven. So it'd be nice to actually see uh, how much time I'm on my phone and I'm probably gonna be shocked by the results. Another new feature in iOS 12 is in the Photos app and it allows you to search more advanced than before. I know a lot of people complained about this and they actually had to use Google Photos in order to search for things, but now you can do more advanced searching. So I can type in dog if I want to and it'll search it up and show me all pictures of my dog and I can even go ahead and add things to it but as you can see it is not working right now and that is a bug Apple will eventually fix that and with any iOS beta you're gonna have these bugs here and there but I think it's just really cool that now you can do more advanced searching in the photos app on iOS 12. In iOS 12, Apple added a whole ton of extra uh, additional privacy features that allows you to be in control of what type of information other websites and other parties get from you. Now, this wasn't just in iOS, it was also available in Mac OS, which is also important if you're using your MacBook. And basically, it makes sure that other companies are not tracking important information. This could be messages, this could be what you're looking at, this could be really anything. And privacy is really, really important to me. I don't know about you guys. Uh, put it down in the comments if it's important to you, but this is big and I'm really glad Apple took extra steps to keep my private information safe. I don't want this video to get any longer, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'll be having a lot more videos on iOS 12 in the near future, but so far initial impressions are really, really good. The animations are much more smooth on my iPad uh, from 2013. As you can see, all of the apps open flawlessly. I know on iOS 11, I had a lot of issues with certain apps just not opening properly, very, very slow animations. So in my opinion, that's a huge, huge thing. This iPad being from 2013 and I being able to still use this um, as intended with smooth animations, smooth performance, really, really happy. And I think that's the biggest thing that stands out to me so far. And of course, it's still a beta, so it's only gonna get better. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends. Maybe they will want to update to iOS 12. Don't worry, there's gonna be tons of tutorials on YouTube and probably by the time this video goes up. So you can go ahead and download iOS 12. My personal recommendation would be to download it on a device that you don't use very often. I don't use this iPad very often. I'm mostly using my iPhone 7 Plus here. So definitely go install it if you'd like. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and checking out this video. Hope you all have an awesome day. Smile because you and technology are amazing. Peace out.